Hey friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little day in the life around the house. I've got some restocking to do. I am babysitting and I have some fun recipes towards the end of this video. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson and I love to share all things homemaking here on my channel and I would love it if you would subscribe and if you're returning, it's so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful day. such a calm beautiful morning I started by reading I will link the trio of books I'm currently reading at the beginning of the description box down below but after I'm done with that I went for a run and I came back and had my AG1 these are very nutritious supplements that you can take every single morning on an empty stomach I usually have coffee and then I'll have this I like to also add some electrolytes to it and it's super good I will link it down below if you guys want to try it I've been using it for over a month now and I feel fantastic Okay, guys, I'm ready to go. These are my Holara joggers. These are, oh my God, sorry, it's messy. Anyway, these are amazing. They are high-waisted, super cute. They also have this zipper in here, so if you want to put like a credit card and you're going for a jog, um, it also zips, so it keeps that safe. Um, and then this is one of their bralettes. I love the back of this, it's super cute. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna throw my shoes on. We're gonna to go to the grocery store, we're gonna restock, and I will do a try-on haul for all the things from Halara because they are adorable. We're also gonna to go to the gym. Um, I got a whole list of things to do today, but let's get started. back from the grocery store and I got to babysit one of my very good friend's new babies and oh it felt so good to hold a little baby again I have to tell you we are definitely done having kids but I always take up the opportunity to babysit when I can so now that I have all the groceries out I've got the baby asleep I'm going to just kind of show you everything I picked up for this week's haul. I found some really delicious fruit. I got some mushrooms. We did a mushroom burger in one of my past videos. I decided to do that one again because it was so yummy. And I've got all kinds of fresh greens. This is the dino kale, or you can also ask your grocery store for Tuscan kale. I got some dragon fruit and the kids were really in a fruit mood today. So I made sure I got plenty of that. I found some more radishes. I've been really liking those lately and then some green stuff for salads. And I also wanted to try a couple of these um, Beyond, uh, there's Beyond Chicken and Beyond Beef. Just trying to go a little more plant-based lately. Um, I really like it, but the rest of my family doesn't seem to love it as much. So I may taper off a bit. I don't want to have them eating it if they don't want to. So, but I have been eating it and it's been really lovely. I've been kind of on an all plant diet and it's been really, really great. I feel like I've had a lot more energy recently, but um, I'm not stuck to it. I'm kind of open to whatever, but I've just been trying something new and it's been pretty yummy. to light a little candle when I'm doing anything here in the kitchen, especially when I get home from a long day at work. I always like to kind of set the mood by turning on some classical music or some just lo-fi music. And then I also always like to add a little candle just for a nice scent in the background. I'm going to start by washing all of our fresh fruit and produce with a little bit of vinegar. This has been a great tip. So I appreciate you all for giving me those ideas down in the comments down below. I'm just going to let these soak and then we're going to chop them up and get them ready ready to go in the refrigerator. I have stopped doing meal planning and only do ingredient prep for the week and it has been a major time saver for me and just feels really nice to open the refrigerator and be able to make a meal in under 20 minutes with clean, fresh produce. Thank you. 
once a week, oftentimes twice a week, I will do ingredient prep where I basically go and get everything we need um, from the produce and protein section of the grocery store. And then I like to bring it all home, wash it, and get it put into the refrigerator. I just find that it really cuts down on time, especially when I'm going to be making something I don't have to actually waste too much time getting all the ingredients prepped and I always find that washing everything it gets it nice and clean you'll see um, the kale was super dirty and then when you see the radish there was actually literally mud inside of the little radish cluster so it's really important that you always wash your fruits and vegetables I know some people don't but I highly recommend it if you don't already have that as part of your your routine, you should definitely look into it cleaning your fruits and veggies. So every single week I do that. And then instead of meal prepping, which I just found, I just don't like, I am actually somebody who does not eat leftovers. It's, it's not that I don't eat them. I just, I don't typically enjoy leftovers. I really love cooking, having fresh food. So meal prepping felt like just constantly eating leftovers. So here's the mud <laughs> from those radish uh, bundles. It's so gross. But so for me, that just didn't seem to work out. Maybe it will later in my life, but right now it just doesn't seem to be something I really enjoy. So, but what I do enjoy is having all of my fresh ingredients cleaned, chopped and prepped and put into the refrigerator. So when I go to make a salad or roast vegetables or anything like that, it's already ready to go. All I have to do is um, get it out and start cooking. So at the end of my workday, when I do go to make whatever I have on my meal plan, it really does cut down on time and also on the mess. So one day, which is now, I will have kind of a messy kitchen, but at least I don't have to wash and prep everything all week long because that's seven days of cleaning and prepping and I just don't want to do that anymore. So this has been a great tip for me if you're looking on cutting down some time while also having fresh stuff in the refrigerator. I'd love to know in the comments down below, how has the new year been treating you? Do you guys have any fun things coming up that you can look forward to? I just returned from a trip with one of my kids that was so wonderful. We just hung out together and it was one of the most incredible experiences I think either of us have ever had. I think that fresh herbs are one of life's little luxuries. I love to chop them up and then add just a little moist uh, paper towel on top, keeps them nice and fresh, but I can throw these into salads and into marinades and anything else. I usually have um, dill, parsley, and cilantro all chopped up and on hand just to cook with throughout the week. But if you add just a little moist towel on there, it'll stay fresher so much longer. I also love to get tarragon and make green goddess dressing. It's like a really fancy ranch. Um, I do have that linked on my channel as well as on my website at laurennicholson.com if you guys want to check that out. It's super good. <music> of March, I wanted to try to do more consistent videos. I thought it'd be kind of fun. I've always been all over the place with my channel. I post a bunch and then I won't post for a week. And I thought it'd be kind of fun just to do a little experiment to see kind of what would happen if you guys enjoyed it more and just did not so much like videos that are so specific, but just really genuine day in the life videos of cooking, cleaning, decorating, and all the things we have going on. For the month of March, we do have St. Patrick's Day coming up. I usually always add that to my stories because the leprechaun goes crazy in our house. 
um, on Instagram. If you guys want to head over there, my handle is Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. And then we will definitely be decorating a whole lot for Easter. I just started to get a little bit decorated, but I have some big decorations coming up. And then I have some really awesome new um, recipes that I'm going to be trying with you guys, as well as getting our garden prepared for summer. I cannot wait. I am learning about seed starts. I just ordered and received all the seeds that I will be using this year in my garden. I will not only be doing seeds, but I'll also be buying starts because I have a feeling that half these seeds probably won't take anyway. So we're going to do that together. We're going to be building either a little greenhouse here at the house, or I might use the greenhouse at my um, work so that I can actually get the seeds that I want. But I really loved being able to find seeds of rare things that I really thought would be delicious to try this year. So if you're into gardening, um, definitely hit the subscribe button. We will be doing my garden again. I also need to build two more garden beds. So we'll be doing that as well as so many other things. I found a bookshelf that I really love. We're going to be putting in the house and just really getting this house kind of dialed in for summertime. I have some other really fun ideas for some DIY projects. So if you guys want to stick around for that, um, I would highly recommend subscribing. I, I think for the most part, March will be one of those months where I'm going to post a lot more and just kind of see what content you guys are really gravitating towards. I've always changed things up on my channel. I used to do a lot more decorating at our other house. And ever since we moved, it's just been really hard to decorate this house because honestly, there isn't a lot of shelf space for me to actually put decor on. So once we get the big um, new fireplace and the bookshelves built, I think we'll have a lot more stuff um, to use as far as like backdrop for decor. So I wanted to get my husband's dinner prepped. This is a meat company that we get meat from here locally in California. He's going to be barbecuing that. I was in the mood for something a little different. So I'm going to share a recipe with you guys at the end of this video that's super yummy and fresh and really is great for spring and summer. done putting all of my vegetables away I wanted to clean the kitchen and restock we are out of coffee so I decided to add some pods in here and just kind of get the kitchen nice and tidy I wanted to add some books over here and just warm this area I did get a little lamp for this it ended up looking super cute I don't think I filmed that but I'll definitely share it with you in an upcoming video because I thought it turned out really sweet I still really struggle with how to decorate this house if you guys are um, kind of OGs and been on my channel for a long time. The other house that we had or still have, but we don't live there anymore was just so much more my style. And, um, this is a great house for a large family. It is so much fun. I love that we become that house for kids. While you and I were cleaning, one of my kids made a gluten-free chocolate cake. So I threw that in the oven. It was actually delicious. I was so surprised because we're just learning about gluten-free in our house, but that chocolate cake was so good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and undo all the dishes. So it for me, to kind of taking the time to do all of this in one night, I feel like really saves time in the week because otherwise I'd have to be redoing all the dishes from cleaning, like I said earlier. So if you're looking to like save time, I highly recommend just doing your meal prep or doing your ingredient prep one night of the week. My kids were sitting in here chit-chatting while we were still babysitting and it was so much fun. We ended up watching the Taylor Swift era tours um, after this and it was so much fun. We were dancing and singing and I just have to tell you, it has been such a wonderful couple months. I feel like I've really slowed down and it just started to embrace enjoying the time I have with my kids. As they're getting older, I'm going to be the mother of a teenager this year. So it's nice to be able to slow down and just enjoy these moments before they all grow up too fast and move out.
so now that I'm done with all of that, I wanted to share a little recipe. This is one of my favorite things to eat during the spring and summer. Usually this is a summer recipe because they're peaches and this is definitely not peach season, but you can still get peaches if you um, go to the grocery store. So I wanted to share this recipe. It's very easy. It's a peach burrata sandwich. I'm just going to be chopping up some prosciutto, some fresh basil, and fresh... Um, I like to use mint. I love the taste of mint and basil together. I don't know why, I just always have. But I'm gonna chop all of those up and then I'm gonna go ahead and chop up one large baguette. We're just gonna slice this down the middle and I'm gonna add this to a baking sheet with some olive oil. And this recipe is really easy to make. You could also make this for lunch or dinner. It really doesn't matter, but it's just so yummy. I can't wait to show you how this ends up turning out. So for the bread, we're just gonna be adding on some olive oil. I like to flip it over and get the both sides drenched in the olive oil and then we're going to bake that while that's baking i'm going to add a little olive oil salt and pepper with a tiny bit of that basil and mint mix that up really well and let it kind of sit for a couple of minutes you want that olive oil to really um, get into all of those uh, peaches then we're going to add our prosciutto and set that aside while that is set it aside, while that's resting, we're going to pull our bread out, flip it over and bake it for just a little bit longer. Once the bread is a little bit golden on top, we're gonna go ahead and add um, one large burrata ball to the top. You could also use fresh mozzarella if you have that as well, both will work brilliantly. While that's resting in the oven, you wanna melt that cheese down. We're gonna mix a little bit of arugula into our peach uh, little salad there. To plate, we're just going to be adding two pieces of that burrata toast and then adding a big healthy scoop of olive oil on there. I think the olive oil really makes this dish, to be honest with you. You could even just do olive oil with a little bit of salt and just eat the bread like that. Or you can be like me and top it with this delicious peach salad. The one thing that you have to do to this salad to really make it just taste so good is add a little bit of some balsamic glaze. I pick mine up from Trader Joe's. It is so good. Again, you could eat this for lunch, dinner, you could have this for brunch, anything. You can even add like mangoes or other fruits to it as well, maybe even some sauteed apples. Anyway, I hope you liked this recipe. It is super good. The kids' cake turned out exquisite. I was so proud of them. This is a gluten-free cake, and then they sprinkled some chocolate chips on top, which I thought were going to melt everywhere and burn, but they actually made a really good um, chocolatey topping. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got organized in the kitchen with me. I have so many more videos coming up this month, so please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Sending you all lots of love and well wishes. See you in the next video. Bye!